Yo, guys, so could Mara Jade be returning to canon? And we're going to talk about that today, and I want to give a spoiler warning if you haven't seen the most recent episode of Star Wars Rebels, because we're going to talk about what happens in that. So if you don't want to know, uh, turn this video off now. But now that we've gotten past that, I'm going to bring up five important points about why I think she could be returning. And uh, the first point is that um, she's an incredibly important character. She was first introduced by Timothy Zahn in the Heir to the Empire uh, series, and she even went on to marry Luke Skywalker. She's a fan favorite. She was known as the Hand of the Emperor, and she's a total badass. So if you are not familiar with her, check her out. She is, she's just amazing, and uh, she's just a really intriguing character, too. So she's very, very important. Uh, the next point is we know that the uh, from season one of Star Wars Rebels that the uh, the Grand Inquisitor was recruiting, uh, you know, as within the Empire, they were recruiting young people with that are Force sensitive. So they were training more Inquisitors. So we know that Darth Vader isn't the only Force user. Uh, he may be the only other Sith within the Empire, other than the Empire, the Emperor, but he's not, uh, you know, he's not the only Force user. So the Emperor certainly wants Force-sensitive people. So that leads to the possibility that she could have been um, easily been there. There's nothing ruling her out, at least, so to speak. Um, next up, we learn that uh, that Gar Saxon in this last episode of Rebels, is indeed the Hand of the Emperor. So we learned that the title itself uh, does exist. So that's a big step towards having Mara Jade be the Hand of the Emperor, or at least reestablishing her, because that's part of what made her special. So we learned that that, that title exists. Um, also, I want the next is the, uh, the fact that she, Gar Saxon dies, and now all of a sudden we're going to need a replacement. Now, um, we can also infer that because of at the, the result of this episode that just aired of Star Wars Rebels, that we are going to have a Mandalorian Civil War. And so as a result, all of the loyalty of Mandalore is probably going to be put into question. And so I don't think it's likely that the Emperor is going to choose another Mandalorian to be his hand. Far more likely he's going to go somewhere else. So now we combine that with the fact that we know that he's already got Inquisitors. He's already been recruiting Force-sensitive people. He might go with somebody who's a little bit young, who has less allegiance, you know, and ties to other places. You know, it would be just a perfect springboard for them to announce Mara Jade. And the last point is, wouldn't it be a fantastic coincidence? Because Season 3 of Rebels also gave us back Thrawn, uh, another one of Timothy Zahn's creations. So we would have... Thrawn coming back at the same time that we're reintroduced to Mara Jade. So uh, the timing would be right for it to be in the same season that gave us Thrawn. And also just a few months before Timothy Zahn's new Thrawn book comes out. So that's that's my five points on why I think Mara Jade is returning. Uh, although I don't know if she will actually be sh featured on screen anytime soon. But they're definitely laying the groundwork. So let me know, what do you think? Do you think that this little hint with Gar Saxon being the hand of the Emperor is an indication that we're getting Mara Jade back? Do you think there'll be implications into uh, Episode 8? Do you think we'll see her mentioned or even on screen in Star Wars Episode 8? Do you think she'll still have ties to Luke Skywalker? Or, or if she comes back, do you think they will change her significantly and perhaps not even give her any connection at all to the Skywalker family? Perhaps she will end up being a love interest of Ezra, or maybe an antagonist of Ezra. Do you think that will be kind of some of her story arc with Luke will be transposed onto the ghost crew? So let me know what you think, guys. Uh, this has been a video on why Mara Jade is coming back, and if you like this sort of thing, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I appreciate all the comments, and uh, you know, give me your thoughts, and uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.